So you think your USB flash drive is tough? Could it survive a series of tests designed to push its durability to the limit? Well, we here at Premium USB decided to take on the manufacturer's claims and put seven popular flash drives through a battery of tests to see which ones are truly tough. We will be testing the OCZ ATV, Patriot Exporter XP Boost, ADATA S007 Military Spec, Sandus Cruiser Titanium, Corsair Survivor, TAC Drive, and the Lassie Extreme Key. We will also be using a generic HP drive as a control. Our tests include dropping them off a six-story parking garage, dunking the flash drives in a lake, crushing them with a forklift, and finally freezing and barbecuing them. If any of our USB flash drives survive the test, we'll answer the ultimate question, will it blend? Well, before we start blending, we should probably put it through a series of tests first. Our first test is going to be dropping our flash drives off a six-story parking garage, estimating about 60 feet. After the flash drives have been dropped, we will collect them, plug them into our laptop, and see if we're able to still access our preloaded file. If we're able to access our preloaded file, it means the flash drive survived. However, if we are unable to access the file, or if the USB casing shatters, it means the flash drive did not survive our test, and thus will be eliminated from the competition. So, let's go over the parking garage and start dropping some drives. OCC. H. Corsair Survivor. Wanna win? The Sea Extreme. Sand this cruiser. Fail. A data. Tack drive. HP generic drive. So after one round of testing, there was a surprising result. Our Sandus titanium cruiser, made out of titanium, broke after one single six-story fall. So now we're at Tempe Town Lake to see if our flash drives will survive our water submersion test. So what we've done is attach our surviving flash drives to the steel braided key ring onto our fishing pole. And we're gonna duck them for a few minutes and well, let's see what happens. All of our flash drives did survive our water submersion test, although several of them did receive some minor rust damage. So now we're out here at Premium USB facilities for our third survivor test, the crush test. We're going to see if our seven remaining drives can survive the impact of a 3,600 pound truck. The truck proved to be too much for the OCZ, the A-Data, and our generic flash drive. Keep in mind that the generic flash drive is a control for our tests and will continue throughout the experiment. We've completed the first phase of our crush test with the truck. The OCZ, A-Data, and HP generic drive all failed. That leaves us with four remaining contenders to go up against an 8,000 pound forklift. Things are starting to thin out. The Patriot and the generic flash drive have been eliminated from this test. They've plunged off a six-story parking garage, gone fishing in a lake, and we've even subjected our flash drives to super crush test with a truck and a forklift. Now let's up the ante with some fire and ice. Welcome to day four of our survivor test. So now what we've done is we've put our flash drives in water and froze it overnight in the premium USB freezer. So now we have Chris here and he's going to crack things open and see what happened to the flash drives. Great job, Chris. Thank you. So now that we have our flash drives 
free from the ice. We're going to let them thaw in the warm Arizona sun. We're going to come back later and test them in our laptop. We broke our drives out of the ice, and all of our remaining USB flash drives are still in the competition. It's been a little over 24 hours since we first broke our flash drives out of the ice. We let them thaw overnight before we plug them into our computer. Surprisingly, all of our flash drives survived, so now we're going to heat things up a little bit. We're going to crank this grill up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to grill our flash drives for about 10 minutes and see what happens. Let's get ready to barbecue. The tech drive escaped with some minimal warping and some minor burns. The generic drive suffered major physical damage, but still worked and passed our test. The Corsair lived up to its name and survived at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and the high heat proved to be no match for the Lacy Extreme Key. The tests are now complete, so let's discuss the results and conclusion. Well, we originally set out to test how tough our flash drives really were. Some failed, some passed, but in the end we were left with three remaining drives, and unfortunately we have to rank them based on overall performance. So, in third place, is the Corsair Survivor Drive, which suffered from extreme physical damage, but the flash remained intact. In second place was the actual TAC Drive, who suffered from minor physical damage and a little bit of warping, but came out unscathed. And in first place, with no exceptions, with everyone's prediction was the Lacy Extreme Key, which came up with flying colors. Great. Well, that's all from Premium USB. Thanks for watching. Question is, will it play? YouTube, it's Sean the Intern, and we're about to blend up a new batch of USB drives. They swear they're durable. So who's up first? You know it's the HP generic drive. Look at it. It's small, plastic, it's not very durable. You think it stands a chance? Let's see. Next up, the OC Zizzle. Will it land? Hey, I got the A data. It says military grade. Hope you like rapid fire recruit. Charlie's in the tree. Next up, we got the Patriot. What's that, Mel Gibson? Oh, no, I'm not Malibu Police. You don't want to go? You'll be fine. Come on, Braveheart. Finishing number three in our competition, the Corsair Survivor. With a blend. is done. It's done. Six round, the tack drive, put them down. I mean, look at that. You wanna go home to your mom's looking like that? 
So that concludes our bout. The attack drive knocked him out in the sixth round. So this is Sean the intern signing out. Charlie in the tree.